One of the simple things you can do, one, is land and keep your hips between your feet so that you have an option to transition and move on to the delivery foot and turn. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eric Johnson from Air Tate Throws Nation. In today's video, we are going to talk about what is making that full throw so difficult. Now, we just got back from doing five of our six summer throws tour where we go on the road with the throwing chain reaction system. We teach people how the six pillars system works and how to find out exactly what's wrong with their throw. Now, how many of you watching this video are having a hard time with the middle of the throw? And, and do you know that you're having a hard time? And hopefully what we're gonna do is show you today three to four reasons why you have a difficult time and that's going to help you start putting yourself on a faster track to success. So be sure to throw that in the comments below and don't forget to do all that fun YouTube stuff like share, bang, kick it, whatever you got to do. Turn on your notifications and that helps support the channel so we can punch out more videos like this. Okay so what was the most common thing that we ran across? Um, the transition. So again, when you come to a throwing chain reaction camp, we're going to teach you again, we teach the system is meant to teach the mechanics of the throw, have athletes learn a better understanding of the throw. So as we teach pillar one and two, right, we teach pillar five, six, there's a point where we're going to teach that connection between the start of the throw and you know, connecting and getting into the power position. So when we do that, one of the things that we tend to do is get to this point and we rotate here. Now that position tends to be very difficult. Now, one of the things we commonly talk about is the throw happens fast and the throw is super unnatural. So all the mechanics and the things you're learning, you're learning how to turn yourself into a throwing machine. It takes time and it takes reps. You got to do the right reps. So here's three common mistakes we came across. So one of the things that we did was a simple line drill where we would just kind of step, have athletes turn and they step here and they step again and they kind of turn and they try to do this motion. Okay. So what we found is, what we would see is a lot of this, this, you know, this stuff. They're kind of off balance and there's a lot of different reasons. So number one, the, we did the drill just, the way our, our camps work is we teach, right? You, you, you drill and you throw. That's always it. If you came to camps years ago, everything has constantly changed. And so we are literally throwing within about 15 minutes of camp starting. We've got implements in our hand and we're learning concepts and applying. So one of the difficult things is this transition. Because when you're throwing, right, and you get here, getting into that full throw, that little transition piece is something you need to work on because the throw is unnatural and it happens quickly. So we call this pillar three with we move in here the sprint and we're moving in and as I turn in the air because I can't demo floating in the air I'm going to slow down the upper body discus is going to be going to the high point I'm trying to maintain this nice T position and I'm going to rotate in and you're going to notice my shoulders are here and my lower body's here and that's what we want when we get to the power position we want that separation because we want to be able to hit it and feel that nice big slinging nasty pull so here are three things that we saw one, when we teach athletes the simple line drill, what we have athletes is one, stepping and landing on the toe. Now, we always tell people in a real throw, of course, you want to land on the toe, but you're going to be turning the foot closer to 12 o'clock. All the best throwers in the world may, some of them may have touched down early, but they don't load the toe until roughly 12 o'clock. So some of the greatest of all time, Lars Riedel, um, Robert Harding, and if you look at the top dudes in the world now, Christian Shea, uh, Mikolas Alekna, Daniel Stahl, Simon Peterson, Matt Denny, um, and Lucas Weisheidinger, these guys all land and that foot doesn't load until it's point, pointing till about 12 o'clock. So now, that being said, in a, in a regular throw, we don't wanna turn the foot like this. We are trying to teach how to step and we're teaching how to turn that axis. So it's a combination of the left and the right. 
Now, so that means one of the simple things you can do, one, is land and keep your hips between your feet so that you have an option to transition and move on to the delivery foot and turn like I just demonstrated. So the second thing is that what happens is we always have athletes put their hands on their hips and then what you see is this. You see a lot of turning of the upper body. You'll see athletes stepping too far, turning like this, turning the upper body, and then doing this type of thing. And you can see how I shift off of the delivery leg. So that's the second thing, turning the upper body. You want to learn how the lower body just moves the upper body, especially in the discus. And to a certain extent, it's going to be doing that in the rotational shot. And we'll talk about this in another video for a rotational shot. So the third thing is looking down. The athletes see a line, they should be looking down the line and putting themselves on the line, not looking here. Mm. And you'll notice when I show you that, I'm moving my hips when I look down. And this is why you don't want to do that because if you were to throw and look down, you're, you're turning like this and that's going to throw you off balance. Now, the toughest thing, that's just the three mistakes we see with the drill. So number one, keep your hips between the feet. Number two, don't turn your upper body when you step. And number three, keep your eyes level and look down the horizon. If you're stepping and doing a line type drill, then you wanna just make sure you're looking straight down the line. And then when you throw, the challenge becomes holding the discus. And that we'll talk about in another video as well. Maybe we'll make that part two. This helps you guys. So coaches, we see a lot of this kind of basic stuff. They're trying to get athletes to do the drill and, you know, just catching the head position, just keeping the head up and moving keeps everything better. Or keeping the head up and making sure, right, when the, when the head's up, they're gonna be less likely to turn. Most of the time you see the chest turning and the eyes going down, and that's what turns the upper body. And like you said, we see a lot of times taking too big of a step or stepping and trying to turn, which is gonna create a back end, and that's a subject for another video, which I think we've already done, but we'll probably do one again. And there you go. So three things that are simple that are making your transition to the middle of the ring into the power position difficult. And this is absolutely something that makes learning the full throw challenging. But this is why time and time again, we have always dozens of athletes who will come to the camp that are new because our, we invite from new to, to advanced and our beginning throwers will always put together a full throw by the end of the day. Some of them are better than others, but the point is they've understood and now it's just going to be about working the right type of reps to help them achieve better technique faster. So hey, remember, if you guys want to learn more information about how to put the throw together, how to learn the throw, find the formula that works for you, check out our link below for the throwing chain reactions system. Remember, if you guys have any additional questions, who of you guys out there are already doing some of these mistakes, put that in the comments. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, let us know. But do all the YouTube stuff for us. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we will see you on the next video. See ya.